Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is another Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we have another week of the Ones to Watch promo. Ones to Watch Team 2 is out today in packs, and I want to talk about all the market movements you need to know about, what content you can expect today, and ways that we can make coins today as well. There's going to be plenty of opportunity to make coins with the Weekend League on the horizon, a lot of demand for people to buy teams, to perform well, to perform the best they possibly can as the Weekend League is starting uh, very soon uh, after this as, after this video is going live, but especially in the Friday night time period where we always see a lot of market rise on Promo Fridays. So I'm going to look today again at the content. We already know the team that's coming back out into packs. This is Once to Watch Set 2. We already know it was released earlier this week. These are the cards that are going to be coming into packs today. So it's just these cards, not set one. Set one's going to be going out of packs. But the interesting thing this, this week is we have actual games. We have league games that are happening tomorrow on Saturday that a lot of these cards and a lot of team one are going to be playing in. So there's going to be a lot of hype and there's going to be some price movements. If you pick the right cards, if you pick the right players, especially with the games that are coming up on Saturday, we can make a lot of money on these cards this weekend. So I want to talk about that. We are guaranteed some new SBCs as well. At least two. At least two new SBCs should be coming out today, I think. We're getting the ones to watch. Hamas Rodriguez. This was tweeted out earlier today by Everton. And then EA Sports actually tweeted it themselves. This is kind of weird, right? I I'm wondering if Everton did not realize it was supposed to be released this early they tweeted out a day early but ea sports went with it and they tweeted it out so of course this is a decent looking card except for the pace um what is this sbc going to cost i honestly don't know man but premier league sbcs uh except for the tiago silva have been kind of expensive so far this year so i would not be surprised if this is around 100,000 coins because premier league sbcs are always more right and ea knows they might be able to get some people to do this SBC for a little bit more coins because it's Thomas Rodriguez, very popular player transferring to the Prem. So we will see what that SBC costs today. Uh, we should also be getting, I think, a um, a Matweedy SBC. Matweedy moved to the MLS uh, and there was a vote on Twitter last week. It was a Twitter poll and that SBC has not come out yet. I know Matweedy was winning the vote at the time. So I do think we'll see that SBC then. Of course, Tiago Silva is expiring. Uh, some of these other SBCs in here are expiring. I would not be surprised if we got a pack supply SBC as well. We've been getting those pretty often and they keep crashing the market, man. Every time we get a decent pack supply SBC, it's crashing the market and it's making cards, you know, people will panic sell and then rebounds after that. So that's something we could see today as well. Of course, uh, a new objective would be possible, um, but we already have the Jota. So I'm not entirely sure if we'll get another player objective. I mean, it's very possible, but this Jota is out for basically the entire promo. He's out for five more days. Uh, and uh, I think it's possible that we do see another one today. Although it'd be kind of short timing because, I, you know, since this one's watch promo looks like it's going to end on the Wednesday, the 21st. I feel like this might be our only ones to watch actual player and objectives. Uh, we maybe will get like an, an, an OTW pack SBC or a pack objective in here. That will be one thing that I think is very possible. But at least two SBCs today with Hamas, possibly Matuidi, possibly a pack supply SBC. And then player of the month for the Bundesliga as well. That has not come out yet. We should be getting that SBC today. Um, and actually, I'm hearing that maybe Kramrich, who we thought was going to run away with it, since the fan vote is so high, it might actually be Leroy Sané winning player of the month. That could be very, very interesting for his once to watch card, depending on how much that Leroy Sané player of the month is if he does win. That could affect not only like his gold card price, honestly, but it could affect SBC fodder if it's a really good priced SBC. But it could make his ones to watch card kind of cheap early on, which would make very, very interesting market movements for the day after that when Bayern do play on Saturday, uh, since his card would still be live. So that's going to be something that we'll kind of have to tackle and look at uh, later in the day today if that does happen. But that is a, a SBC that we could see today as well also one thing that we're going to be seeing today is the deadline day packs the team of the week packs those all should be released today because this was the last day they were going to do it ea said it's going to be released by october 16th that is today so we will see a guaranteed team of the week player you guys will be able to pack a guaranteed player from this team of the week right here or if you want to save the pack you can hold on to it and you can save the pack for whatever current team of the week is in packs at that time. In my opinion, 
I might consider holding because, again, we have league games this weekend. There's no dynamic images on these cards. So if you want to hold that Team of the Week pack for until the 21st of October, there'll be Team of the Week 4 that will come out. Could be nice. Uh, so I might end up holding my pack because a lot of people are going to get those today. It'll be interesting to see how this Team of the Week reacts to that ones to watch. The Deadline Day pack with the ones to watch players and the Team of the Week player. Uh, pack in included. Of course, Kyle Walker is somebody that I'm watching closely. This card's going to boom out of packs. I can already tell. Firmino will do well. And there's a lot of okay informs in here, but without the dynamic images, with you know, it's it's not as hype as some of our previous team of the weeks we've had. I think I'm going to hold off on my pack. I think you should honestly too, but a lot of people won't be able to stand it. They'll try to open and get themselves a Walker, Partey, a Firmino, Milinkovic, or a Ramos. So, yeah, I would expect a decent amount of those to be open today. Don't think that it'll affect the market too much. Maybe at 6 p.m. with all the pack supply coming out, you might see a decent dip on some of these informs if you want to buy in them for your team for the weekend. Or if you see a huge dip and you think it'll rebound, that could be a potential buy time there. Uh, so that's something that we could see today. And of course, I'm going to talk about this as well, but ones to watch players. OTW players are going to be huge huge buy today at some point. Now let's let's start talking about the market things, right? We've covered the content. Let's talk about the market side of things. So at 6 p.m. last week, what we saw was there was some panic selling headed into the promo. Um, and if we look at the market index right now, there was a lot of panic selling yesterday. People called it like a market crash yesterday. This is basically just pack supply again, coming on the market. This happens all the time, right? It's like a daily flipping strategy that you can use. Whenever there's pack supply SBCs that come out, you can buy cards in the dip that are meta, that are popular, that are usable, right? Some of these popular players from Footbin um, dropped down and have now bounced back up today, right? Uh, Neymar was like 1.02. Now he's up to 1.14. Um, Sissoko was like 45. He's back to 50. You know, like a lot of these guys, Valverde was 57K. He's back to 65. A lot of the really meta popular players got panic sold because of this pack supply and just people panic selling before the promo today. And now it's starting to rise back up. I have some cards on my transfer list right now that I am currently flipping that I bought during that low time frame. And I'm going to be trying to sell these cards early in the morning UK time, probably like early afternoon UK. I'm going to be shipping out the rest of these cards that I was flipping this afternoon because um, I want to be liquid. I want to have my coins ready for 6 p.m. UK because I think at 6 p.m. what we're going to see again is we're going to see something not maybe exactly like this, but if there is a pack supply SBC, there's going to be promo packs in the store like there has been for the, every day in the past couple, the past week or so. There are going to be some promo packs uh, released. And if any of the SBCs that come out today are really good value, it could cause some of the market to jump down in value. But then there's going to be a rebound. Again, it's a promo Friday where we have weekend league on the horizon. So a lot of these popular players are probably going to dip from pack supply, whether they're in forms, whether they are, you know, a Furlan Mendy, a Valverde, uh, a De Bruyne. Some of these players are probably going to dip in that first hour or so after the content drop, and then they're going to shoot up as people buy their cards for the weekend league, as people open packs, people have saved up packs for today, all that kind of stuff, or whether they participate in the content and then go buy cards. So that is going to be something to really keep an eye on today. What kind of stuff do you want to be looking at if there's panic selling headed into 6 p.m. UK? If, if you're going to buy something before 6 p.m. UK, make it be an out of packs card or a, a ones to watch item that's about to go out of packs. Watch the team of the weeks, right? I love trading with out of pack specials on promo Fridays because they just rebound the most. Holland, if you see this guy at like 220s, 230s, that's low. Harry Kane is already low. Hernandez was at 100K flat tonight. I bought three of them. I've been selling a couple of them at like 111, 112. St. Max, if you see him like in the 260s, maybe 270s even, he's hitting 300,000 coins tonight. He could bounce down and then rebound swiftly right back up. Just watch the market in terms of these out of packs cards before 6 p.m. And then after 6 p.m., watch these ones to watches because they might get they might get kind of forgotten about. As the new team comes into packs, these guys might dip a little bit. Bale's already been hyped up today. I'm a huge fan of Suarez. I'm also a huge fan of Werner just because they're going to rise in the hype. Tell us as well. He's already up a little from where he was. So watch these cards in the first two hours or so of when the promo for the Once to Watch 2 comes out. All the packs are opened. People partake in, in the, today's content and they do stuff with that. And you also want to take a look at these Once to Watch set two cards 
in the first couple hours as well. Now I can't show you these graphs because of course the daily graphs on Flipbin are not available anymore, but this is a perfect example of what could happen today with some of the most hyped up ones to watch cards that get released, right? So Werner last week, I don't know if you guys remember this, but Timo Werner started off at like 1.2 million coins. He got packed, he went dropped all the way down. He was 600,000 coins, 600K flat. And that was around like two to three hours after the content dropped. So we're talking like what? Like 9 p.m. UK time. Watch these cards, you know, 9, 8.30, 9, 10 o'clock p.m. UK time or one, two to three hours after the content drop, whenever the content drop is for you. You might see these guys hit a low point because last week, Werner, all those packs, people undercut, 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 he drops low. And then all of a sudden, the switch flips. People stop listing. People start buying cards because they want to just invest in the card. They want it for their team. Werner went from 600K flat all the way to 750K in an hour and a half time frame, a couple hours after the content drop, because people just stopped listing that card and people started buying it up because it reached its bottom point. That happened uh, with Bale and with Timo Werner. Bale hit like 280 or something and then went back to 330 or something like that. And then Werner went from six, uh, 600 flat to 750. If there's any players that are gonna do that today that you could look at that would have a lot of hype, I would say Rodrigo, Havertz, Semedo, Possibly Van de Beek and Sané. Now, the reason I list Sané, I'm a bit unsure. It all depends on Player of the Month Bundesliga. If he does not win Player of the Month Bundesliga, then I would say for sure that would be a card that would bounce back into the next day. But if he does, not sure. It depends on his price, right? So look for the really meta, really popular, and actually like the highest rated and most rare cards as well because they're just going to have less supply on the market but also a high, lot of, a high amount of demand that's going to make their price bounce around a lot more. So definitely watch the Havertz. That's one that I'm going to be keying in on tomorrow if I have my coins liquid, depending on how expensive he is. Which, if I had to guess for this guy, since Werner's like 600,000 coins, I would have to imagine that this dude would be somewhere around like the 350 to 450 range. Um, somewhere in there is what I would kind of expect for a Havertz. But... Um, just kind of watch those. There's going to be rebounds into the nighttime on UK with these ones to watch two cards because A, people are going to buy them because they just get too low. And B, people are going to buy them because they have games on Saturday. As of course, we look at the schedule here on SofaScore, look at all the games that include Premier League players, Everton and Liverpool, the James SBC, of course, Jota objective. Um, you've got Chelsea Southampton. We have three wants to watch players from Chelsea, Manchester City and Arsenal, multiple wants to watch players in that game, Manchester United with Tellez, Atletico Madrid, uh, Real Madrid. There's wants to watch is there. Then we've got, um, we've got Bayern Munich down here. There's just so many games from either wants to watch set one or wants to watch set two. They're being playing on Saturday. So there's going to be a bounce back. And the, if you time it right, there's going to be big time money, right? Just focus on the most popular players because that's the stuff that's going to move or players that are going to be the most popular to get an inform because they're playing well or because they're getting a lot of game time and they're hype players. So like Bale, he's already up like 20K from where he was earlier today. If he drops back down to like the 260 range, I would not be surprised if Gareth Bale comes Sunday morning. It's a 300,000 coin plus card out of packs, hyped up, potentially making his first debut or second debut for Spurs, I guess you could say. But first debut after his re-signing. So definitely watch a lot of these ones to watch cards. But if you don't want to mess with that, and if you just want to buy cards for your weekend league team, and if you just want to buy meta players that, um, you know, you just want to invest, right? This is going to be a great time to do that as well. Watch a lot of these cards because there's going to be a lot of panic beforehand. And of course, there's going to be some pack supply right at 6 p.m. UK. Some of the lower rated cards, like today we saw guys like Marcus Urente just drop, right? Again, this is I, I tweeted about this earlier th this morning. It's just basically people are transitioning away from players like this, and they're going and buying. They're going and upgrading, right? People are past the starter squad stages of foot. We're a week into the game. People are making coins. People are having enough coins to go and upgrade their Yorente to a maybe a guy like De Young or somebody else like that or a Valverde. They're they're upgrading their midfield player to a higher cost and more meta player in the game. So watch out for some of those higher rated cards, right? I mean, this could be dropping today, but also rebound. Of course, your super meta cards like Ferland Mendy, like Neymar, like Ben Yedder, like Varane, they, like De Bruyne, they might take a bit of a bounce, they might go down, but then there's definitely gonna be a rise as we head into the nighttime. It's just all about finding the most OP players and the players that are most sought after 
for those buys. And that's why I really talk about informs as well, because they are out of packs, especially team of the week one and two. And a lot of people still want those. Those are like the only kinds of cards right now in this game that people can get that are dynamic versions that have dynamic images. And so there's going to be some extra demand for those cards. So I do think you're going to see a bit of a drop in price across the entire market today around the 6 p.m. time frame, 6 to 8 p.m. I would say. So get your snipers out. If you want to mess around with SPC fodder in there too, you can if you wish. Um, it all just depends on the content that is coming out today, right? That's how it is every week. Will SPC fodder go up? Well, it just depends on the SPCs that EA puts out and the type of content that they do release. So definitely keep an eye on that. But anything that is super meta, super popular, and by meta, just go on this popular page on, on uh, Footbin, scroll through and look, think about all the cards that you see all the time in Division Rivals. Think about the big names, the cards that link to each other, and just popular cards that are in this game. One last thing I would give you uh, as a tip for today, Havertz, Sané, and Semedo, right? Those are guys that are going out of packs. You know, some guys that are that are already out of packs for team of the week. Firmino would be one of them. Um, Ramos would be another. Watch those cards, gold cards, right? Havertz is 120 right now. This is a card that a lot of people have already invested in to go out of packs. We saw, we saw the situation with Bale last week as one of those most meta cards going out of packs. He actually went higher from Friday to where he was on Saturday. Even going out of packs, his price didn't really move, but he did bounce up a couple days after that. So Havertz was kind of panic sold down today to 110. Let me just show you the Bale graph, right? So Bale's gold card went out of packs last week for once to watch team one. On Friday, he averaged a price around 87,000 coins. I know for a fact at one point he was around 80K during the morning, right? He was around 80,000 coins and he was almost 100K by the nighttime on Saturday. And he went up to like 103 throughout the midweek. Definitely watch Havertz, Semedo, and Sané, and Rodrigo as well. If there's any drop in these cards' prices, because of course, right after they go out of packs, when it turns 6 p.m. UK, some people that have invested in these cards are gonna be like, oh shoot, they should be going up because they're out of packs now. There's gonna be demand. People are gonna be buying them. And what happens is people actually undercut and they they drop the price. So if you see this Havertz back down at 110 on the PlayStation 4 or like even 108 on the Xbox, low 100s on Xbox is not a bad price. This guy's gonna go out of packs. There's not a ton of center attacking mids for like this price with this amount of hype in the in the prem. You have Bruno Fernandez, you got Firmino whose gold card is out of packs anyway, and you got De Bruyne who is very very expensive. So I like this card out of packs. I think it's going to do very well if it drops at all again today into the low one teens. That's going to be an investment that you could buy and hold into the next week. Same thing with a guy like Firmino or Ramos, right? Because these guys are out of packs for team of the week. But as we saw last week, I believe Holland got panic sold even on Friday, even on Friday last week. Holland was panic sold while he was out of packs for two days just because people were getting on the game and doing other things. So if you saw this Firmino back in like under 120, uh, I think this card is probably going to be around 140,000 coins midweek next week because of Brazilian links and just the hype Liverpool player that he is. So definitely keep an eye on this card as well as somebody who could rise throughout the week into the next week. But it's going to be a busy day of content on side of, inside of FIFA ultimate team it's gonna be a fun day though really fun day team of the week packs new ones to watch cards and packs a lot of crazy market movements so just buckle in hang on all right you're gonna see the market probably dip down a little bit more in the morning i know we've already seen a bit of a bounce back from the crash on yesterday on thursday it's probably gonna dip down into the content drop and then probably explode in the evening on meta cards popular stuff so make sure you take a look around the market watch and see which cards drop and then be ready for that bounce back late into the Friday evening. And then we'll talk about tomorrow. We'll talk about, you know, what's going to happen on Saturday, what we're going to see with the market that, and then cover the content that came today as well after the fact. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.